Welcome to e-commerce news by Managed by Stats. I'm Justin Coleman. And I'm Jade Coleman. And that's correct. In this bi-monthly segment, we bring you e-commerce news and Amazon news. In our first story, Amazon's going to be making some changes to the buyer-seller messaging, and that's going to be starting November 3rd. So stay off of Amazon's naughty list this holiday season and only send messages on the following topics. Request a product review and seller feedback. Resolve an order fulfillment issue. Request information needed to complete the order. Send an invoice. Schedule delivery for a heavy or bulky item. Verify a custom design. Ask a question related to a return and schedule an Amazon Home Services appointment. So if you don't want a lump of coal in your stocking for the holidays this year, don't do the following things. Order or shipping confirmations. That's going to affect a lot of you. Emails that only say thank you. That's going to affect a lot of you. Emails that offer your assistance if buyers have any issues. That's also going to affect a lot of you. Marketing and promotional messages, including coupons. Language encouraging positive product reviews or seller feedback ratings. If you do that, then you, let's move on. Request for removal or an update of an existing product review. A request for review only if the buyers had a positive experience with the item and a repeat request per order for a product review or seller feedback. Amazon is cracking down on sellers who have multiple accounts or who are logging into multiple accounts with the same IP address. In the last month, a number of Amazon sellers have reported having their accounts deactivated due to this, and Amazon is not making it easy to reinstate their accounts. This comes on the heels of Amazon changing the terms of service for the health and safety and supplement area. Did you know that if you have products in this area, you have to ungate each and every new product that you list? We found that out the hard way. Yeah, we did. So now it's not just ungating a category. You have to ungate each new listing for each product. In our next story, Amazon's added seven new countries to Amazon Project Zero. What is Project Zero, you ask? Well, it's just this little project that they launched to stop counterfeiters and hijackers from ruining your life. So this brings the total up to 17 countries where you're protected, which is a darn good thing. Amazon has released some important dates for this holiday season, the most notable being their extended return policy. Now, consumers who purchase anything starting October 1st can return it all the way up until January 31st. This affects quite a lot of you. Sorry. This policy includes things that are shipped by Amazon and also by the seller. This is interesting because Amazon just released the date for Prime Day as October 13th and 14th. So, Amazon Prime Days. That's right, Justin. Target will be competing with Amazon Prime Day with Target Deal Days. They are also on October 13th and 14th. Target has announced that they're going to have double the deals that they had last year, which is very political of them because they don't actually say what they're going to do, just that they're better than the competition. In Managed by Stats News, we released a new service that has us even more excited than the scientists that found sea unicorns. Justin, I think you mean narwhals. Exactly. It's called PPC Logic, and it mixes artificial intelligence with a biological manager. Justin, do you mean a human manager? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. It's our PPC agency designed to remove all the extra time that you have to put in in managing your PPC campaigns. MBS has also launched a new podcast called AMZ Seller Real Talk, hosted by Curtis Johnson and yours truly. Since you're already on YouTube, you can find it here on our YouTube channel. Or here. In fakish news, somewhat loosely based on reality, Very loosely. Alexa just released Amazon One, a new device that links your handprint to your credit card for Amazon-based brick and mortar stores in Seattle. With this, Amazon can provide the NSA with all of your biometric data and your conversations. Alexa went back and forth on choosing the name before choosing the title Amazon One. She went through Amazon 9000, Amazon 1984, and Amazon NSA. I really like the middle one. Me too, Jade. You've been accepted for assimilation. Okay. According to the sources inside Amazon, Jeff Bezos has just received the memo from Alexa and we're waiting for comment. That's all we have for you today. We'll see you next time for another edition of e-commerce news by Managed by Stats.